Welcome to your reading, Fire Signs. This is Madeline from Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. I'm your tarot reader and energy healer. And uh, welcome. I hope that uh, this resonates for you. It's for the uh, week of January 3rd through 9th. However, it is a timeless reading. When you come to the reading, it's one that's meant for you. And so uh, fire signs, if there's fire in your chart, um, hopefully some of this will uh, resonate. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, like and share the video. Um, help us to grow and be able to uh, raise the vibration of the planet. So I am so delighted that I have started doing daily messages on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And so the links are below if you're a member of either of those. And then also I will be doing a moon um, live reading the full moon on Wednesday. And so come over to that if you see this before then. If not, I should have a lot of full moon and new moon readings, uh, live readings that are on the uh, YouTube under my playlist. So please feel free to uh, watch those. Uh, this moon is really going to be amazing. The uh, Cancer and I have a lot of really great energies of the home and hearth and family and a lot of um, emotions welling up in us and the ability to express our emotions in new ways. At the same time, the sun is in opposition in Capricorn, which is going to be just great because it will help us to uh, move forward in our lives with our careers and momentum, our direction, our leadership. And so we have that great um, merging and balancing right now of the masculine and the feminine. So such great energies. So um, in the extended today, um, we will be looking at the uh, star seed cards for each of the zodiacs. Um, Aries, uh, Aries, Leo, and uh, oh, Sagittarius. My goodness, I just drew a blank there. Sorry about that, you guys. Anyway, so we'll be looking at, at those in the extended. So the extended for the air signs really was amazing. Um, I definitely want to uh, post that at the end the energies and the uh, expressions for those. So I think you, you will definitely enjoy it here as well. So uh, if you watch the video all the way to the end, thank you. And there will be a uh, love card and an angel message at the end for you. So as we begin, I would like to set the intention for uh, love and light to surround us, the highest and best good. Let's ask the uh, divine for protection and uh, support and uh, the energies of uh, guidance for this week from the divine. Okay, so um, as we uh, look at the uh, messages uh, for this time, for you air signs, um, I will be putting Reiki energy into the decks and that will help uh, guide guide me in this reading. So I'm going to start with angels and ancestors. Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. Hmm, that's a great one. Okay, so for some of you especially, uh, this week there'll come up situations where you'll feel like you need to um, kind of like defend yourself and defend your position. And so often we are going through life and, you know, maybe we don't agree with the other people around us and feeling like we need to defend our position. So one thing that I have learned recently is when you're starting to feel defensive, instead of putting up your walls, uh, let them fall down. Use vulnerability, authenticity, and you know, just the truth and compassion to guide you. And you'll find that you actually have more protection and uh, more clarity, more boundary setting in that situation instead of just putting up your walls and being defensive. Then everybody puts up their walls and is defensive. And we start having a defensive battle. So the energies I also feel here are the abundance. So the 
you know, for the time of the uh, Native American, you know, when the uh, buffalo was abundant throughout, you know, especially the, the Plains um, Indians really were able to um, capture so much abundance just from one animal. So one buffalo uh, would provide the hide, the bones, the food, you know, the, uh, the feed and, you know, every single part of the, uh, animal was used in some way, in some abundant way. So it kind of represents that abundance is all around us. And even when it changes, because the buffalo certainly isn't, you know, the bison certainly isn't what it was back then, excuse me, but, you know, even though it has changed, um, sometimes abundance changes in our life, but it's still always there and it's, it's something, you know, it's a constant in our lives. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the messages, fire signs. So this is the Llewellyn Tarot. Message for fire signs. Okay, so the uh, first card is the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups points to um, Cancer, uh, Scorpio, and I'm having the worst time today. Uh, <laughs> Pisces. So, you know, we're, we're looking at the uh, different water signs and the water energy. So you may have uh, some of those um, in your chart. And so you can probably be a little steamy sometime. You mix together fire and water. And um, in this case, the uh, energies of the uh, Queen of Cups, uh, she really is one of my favorites because she, she has that, the strong ability to be, you know, the mother the lover, the emotional support, the emotional giving uh, that she has in her life is just really amazing. And, um, the, you know, she has that cup that she's offering to you this week. You're being offered the ability to have, open up your heart, to really feel the feelings, um, know the sensations. There's a lot of blue in here, which is points to the throat chakra, communication. Communication has to do, you know, is verbal and nonverbal, uh, listening and speaking. And there's so many ways that communication is an important part of uh, opening our heart, you know, opening our heart and understanding our emotions. So all of that really goes together in such a, a powerful way. So during this week, Fire Signs, you will um, be given the opportunity to truly feel in your heart um, some things you may not have felt before. Now, most, this card, usually the feelings are good. Um, you know, it could be that we're dealing with uh, some, you know, pain, um, you know, difficulty, but for the most part, the feelings in this situation are really uh, good and promising. And so let's take a look at the uh, energies here, messages for fire signs. Okay, the Seven of Cups. So another cup, you know, a real emotional week, which makes sense because, you know, we had the full moon in Cancer. We have a lot of emotions coming through. And uh, at this time, you know, learning how to uh, manifest and visualize what, you know, what you're really looking for. And here there's so many different options. You know, we have uh, love and peace and mystery and uh, victory and, uh, you know, abundance and home and hearth and all of these things. And sometimes we kind of get overwhelmed because... You know, there's so many things that we would, uh, we're hoping for, or wishing for. And so I think this card is, this card to me is pointing to you and saying, you know, for now, uh, pick one, you know, pick a direction that is the most meaningful you, for you that has the uh, greatest, greatest impact in, in, uh, 
helping you be able to feel even more um, happiness and joy. And uh, as you feel the happiness and joy, it will come more into your life. You know, this thing. And so she's sitting here and she's dreaming. She's dreaming up all these things. And so what, what is really going to um, be the dream, the dream for you this week? And as you visualize that, um, you know, and ask the uh, angels for those uh, blessings, it will come about in your life. So let's take a look at messages um, for the fire signs. Ooh, another queen. The Queen of Pentacles. So this queen is much more um, established, uh, earthy, connected to the um, earth. And she she kind of brings us energies of uh, leadership and, um, you know, focusing more on uh, the things that are around her and are current and present. I'm getting that feeling of kind of like not worrying about the past or worrying about the future, but being confident in the moment. And you can see that, you know, the tree has, has grown for a long time. She has that real sense of grounding. And again, she's offering you a gift, a gift this week of, of that abundance and um, clarity and a really strong feeling. And it's interesting to me that we have the two, the two queens and that they're, they're facing each other. It's like they, they want to work together in your life. Uh, the, and actually it's interesting because we were talking about uh, Cancer and Capricorn being opposite each other with the uh, moon and the sun and balancing uh, those energies of, of home and work. And so this is kind of that, that same balance, the balance of uh, home and work in your life and picking that thing to visualize that will help to uh, balance uh, the, those things in your life. Okay, so uh, messages for the uh, fire signs. Okay, mm, the uh, Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, as this um, abundance, you know, is, is offered to you in your life, you know, a lot of times there's uh, basic work that we have to do to uh, bring that into existence and learning to love the work that you do. So, um, you know, be, be grateful that you have a job right now. So many people um, are struggling and not able to uh, find a job. And if you have one, it's a real blessing. Um, if you don't, I feel like there's something coming to you that you really enjoy and it could be a real uh, blessing. And so, so many times um, we can be scared or nervous that, you know, I don't know if this new job is going to be the right thing for me. Um, but what we, what we find and what especially Abraham Hicks talks about is, you know, no matter what you're doing, it doesn't matter as much what you're doing right now as how you're feeling. Because as you feel uh, that joy and that abundance in your life, the things that just aren't, sh that shouldn't be there will fall away. And the things that are meant to be there will uh, be in your life. It's kind of like that vibration, like it'll vibrate right, you know, vibrate right off of the, uh, I, you know, like, like my washing machine when it works, it tends to vibrate and it vibrates everything off of it. So I can never keep anything on the washing machine. That probably needs to be balanced. <laughs> anyway, you know, so you're, you're thinking about in your life, you know, this, you know, as you, as you vibrate at these higher energies, the things that are lower energy will just pass away and not be there anymore. And so if you're in a job that you don't enjoy, um, know that that job that you really do enjoy is coming to you. 
you know, it could be that, you know, you're applying for a job and you don't get it. You apply for another one and don't get it. Apply for another one and don't get it. And, you know, you're starting to feel frustrated that, you know, the right thing isn't coming into your life right now. And yet it is. Prayers are being answered because until the right job vibrates into your life, um, it just won't stick because it's not supposed to be. And uh, so you've you've been putting those, um, you know, what you really want. You want a job with a lot of uh, freedom. You know, so if just anything comes along, uh, you're not going to get that because, you know, what you really need and desire is coming to you. Okay, so let's see. Uh, messages for the fire signs. Okay, the uh, Four of Swords. So, um, the Four of Swords uh, really is the card of healing. And after after a battle, after a struggle, um, sitting there quietly, healing and resting from that conflict and getting ready for the, uh, the next battle that's coming. And for some of you, uh, this week will be a time of healing and growth. And it also, I also always think of uh, dreaming with this particular card because how she's laying here with these kind of like thoughts holding over her head. So for some of you, your dreams will be uh, prophetic or in some way kind of point and direct you this week. So maybe even do a dream journal to uh, really focus your thoughts and your dreams and bring them out in more clarity. And then also, um, I also always think of the uh, Game of Thrones and the times when uh, Bran, you know, has to hide and he's talking to the trees and, you know, kind of that uh, mysticism and psychic abilities. And so for some of you, uh, more uh, psychic abilities will be coming forward or more understanding of, of connection to the divine and uh, understanding better uh, your abilities and directions as part of this um, healing that's happening for you. And... Uh, Okay, Five of Swords. So this this one is, you know, coming right after. So she's on to that next battle. She's done her her healing. Uh she, you know, is uh, ready for the next challenge and again, it's kind of card of decision. She can either choose to be the girl who's won. She's picking up the swords which can be a lot of uh, power and authority and and financial gain or you could choose to be the ones that are walking away in defeat and you know so we have free will as you know we're free agents in this life and we can we can choose um you know are we going to win that battle with ourselves or lose that battle and so inside of our hearts fire signs you know we can uh, say, you know, especially I'm thinking this uh, battle with the emotions, you know, balancing the emotions and the stoicism, you know, trying to balance those in our lives this week. You know, how are we going to uh, win that battle of balance or are we going to let the uh, external forces kind of uh, beat us down? And so, you know, we're going to say, well, I couldn't win that battle anyway because I was uh, downwind or I, I didn't have the upper hand. Or uh, are we going to choose to uh, be victorious in our lives? So to me, this is a really strong choice card that you're going to come to an opportunity this week to make a, a choice or a decision in your direction. Okay, so the final card. For the fire signs and the messages. 
Mm, universe, I love this. This is the world card, but in this one is the universe. And so as we are, you know, it's kind of like we, you know, we ground down into the earth and then we expand up into the universe and pull all those energies into our heart chakra. And so um, not being afraid of, you know, reaching out into the expanse of the unknown. Um, and there may be for some of you a more specific unknown that you'll need to be facing and going toward. And others of you, it's more that spiritual experience of, you know, stepping into this place here, this uh, beautiful place, but you really don't know uh, what's around the corner, uh, what might be um, hiding. But instead of uh, feeling the fear and trepidation, just to uh, walk with uh, confidence and knowing the direction that you're headed. And then... The energies of the world car, you know, uh, coming to the end of a cycle. And, uh, but really, if you think about it, there is no end. You know, there's no end to a circle and there's no end to the universe. It's constantly expanding. We're part of that expansion. So I highly recommend, um, you know, looking at for this week, I think abundance is really important. Uh, you know, watching some of the videos on YouTube about abundance and bringing that into your life. And that's really important. Underneath is the uh, Scorpio energy, uh, the death card, which again is the other card of saying, you know, as we uh, let go of things that are no longer helping us or bringing us into alignment, as we let go of those things, the alignments that we truly need will really help our lives and help us to uh, grow to the next level, we'll have room to come in. So whenever we're uh, manifesting things into our lives and abundance into our lives, we have to realize that something has to go away. Like our feelings of lack, you know, have to go away in order for that abundance to come into our lives. You know, things have to be... Uh, pushed aside and let go of and die out of our lives in order for the uh, new things to come in. And it's just like, you know, a, a child is born and a person dies. And that's part of this uh, world, part of creation. Part of creation is um, death and they go hand in hand. So um, I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Uh, let's take a look at the... Uh, a, a love card and an angel card as well. So let's look at the uh, the love, the whispers of love. Basically, you can think about a relationship. It doesn't have to be, you know, a romantic relationship, but a relationship that you need more um, clarity and direction. Okay, be in the present and dream of the future. So I love this. I love the energies of this card. There's so many planets that are in alignment. This is certainly a time when there's been a lot of planetary alignment um, and justice position. We can see here the sun and the moon in opposition to each other. And um, being in this present moment, learning, learning to have mindfulness. And the more we are able to bring mindfulness into our lives and being in the moment, and standing in who we are today, um, that will help the uh, future become uh, more what it needs to be. When we dream, everything is possible. All right, let's take a look at the uh, book that goes with this card, uh, 40. So it's uh, the number four, which is, um, you know, building a foundation. Um, avoid dwelling on things that have passed and no longer exist. Everyone has a past that has helped to shape who they are. This history cannot be erased. Accept the past and look forward to the future. Set goals, dream big, and create. 
By doing this, you will eliminate the need to revisit the past. Having a goal helps you focus on what is important. Okay, so a goal for the, for the moment and realizing that the past is no longer a, a direct effect on your life. Um, setting a goal with a one-year frame is a simple way to live in the present. What would you like um, to be doing or achieving this time next year? And of course, a lot of us do that in the first week of January, and it lasts for like a week or two. But rather than looking at just the resolution, excuse me, you know, creating a goal that helps you to focus on today and the future, once you have committed to your goal, you will find uh, you are more easily able to reach it. Work consistently toward your dream and you will make steady progress and achieve it more quickly. And one thing that I, I heard in a book that I was reading, um, it's actually uh, the new Psycho-Cybernetics. And it, it talks a lot about, you know, what... Um, athletes do and other people do that are highly successful and one thing it recommended was um, create a goal well, let's say your goal is weight loss so create you know a goal of losing 40 pounds and then write down 10 things that will help you toward that weight loss you know like maybe um, parking far away and walking in you know, to the store, so getting a little extra exercise or, you know, eating a good healthy food, you know, don't, don't drink a cup of coffee and eat a donut for breakfast, but have, you know, a good healthy meal. So list 10 things that will help you toward your goal of losing weight, you know, exercising three times or five times or seven times a week, you know, all these different things. And then on, on the one direction, the other direction, so you're making yourself a star chart, you know, and they put, you know, 30 or 31 days. And so every day you put a star if you uh, did that activity on that day. And at first you'll find that it's, you know, fairly spotty, but as you go through the month, um, you'll have more consistent, you know, stars for every single day. And, you know, we know that new habits are formed um, over a period of a few weeks. And so doing those for a few months, we start to form those new habits in our lives. So any kind, you know, whether it's a, a new activity, you know, goal with your uh, job and your career, with your personal life, uh, create these charts for yourself. Create lists, create charts, and uh, create this vision of, you know, what that result will be. Now we want to live, um, you know, we're prog much more progress oriented than result oriented. But on the other hand, creating these small goals can really help us to live in the moment, live in today, and uh, move toward that uh, greater progress in life. So um, this is really a great car, great energy. Be in the present and dream of the future and try to allow the past to uh, fade in many ways. And I know a lot of people really want to focus on their past lives. And I think the purpose for that is more uh, for like soul retrieval, um, healing of those past lives that we can do with uh, Reiki and the Reiki energy, which I, I like to use. And, you know, we can, we can do that kind of uh, thing, um, and yet um, I don't think it's as important, really, what your past life was as maybe your overall uh, soul life and that you, that you are not only making choices for your current life, but your overall uh, soul's, uh, soul's mission. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the um, angel card. Victory. Send a phone. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So faith is the uh, vision of things unseen. You know, the evidence of things that haven't happened yet. 
And so just knowing that victory has happened, it is there. We may not be able to see it with our physical eyes, but it is there in the uh, vibrational realm, ready for, for us to be manifested into our lives. Thank you for coming to the reading today, Fire Signs. It was so nice to have you. Please subscribe and like. Thanks for coming all the way to the end. Uh, we will be going on to the extended, uh, which we'll be looking at the uh, Star Seed Oracles. So click the link below and we'll continue on with the message.